Hi guys, welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Alex and this is Emma. And we are traveling the world as digital nomads, earning less than minimum wage at home, but trying to spread the message through YouTube of earn less and live more. and we are spending about $10 a night to stay in this little wooden lodge. It's so cool, we're right tucked in the middle of the mountains, there's snow on the ground outside. So we have rented a car and come up here from Krakow for three nights. Hiring a car in Poland is actually really reasonably priced. We are spending less than $15 per day for car hire and insurance so we can have the freedom to go and explore the nature in the south of Poland. So it is bitterly cold outside this time of year in Poland. It is at least zero degrees today and we have layered up to the max. That's right, I'm wearing two jackets today. I'm going all out. I've even got two pairs of trousers on, I've got leggings with joggers over the top, two pairs of socks, two jumpers. I'm gonna be snug as a bug in a rug. Let's go check out the car. And this is our sweet, sweet ride for the next few days. It's red, it's nice, it's new, it is the Hyundai. <laughs> So it is a two hour drive from Krakow to here and this is my first ever experience of driving on the wrong side of the car. Now we are going to make our way to a valley. Now guys, try and say this. Well, okay, if I was reading it in my English way, I would say, say it's a uh, Straziaska, but we all know that those little squiggles on the A and the Z are not our friends. Stromjaiska. Stromjaiska. Probably not. This is a quite simple hike, which is right in the center. But all the pictures are in the summer, so we're going to go try and do it now in the winter. Hopefully, it looks half as nice as this thing. We are here at the entrance now, and it's cost us five zloty to get in, which is about a pound. Look how cool it looks, the trail over there. We've just come from over here, which also looks equally awesome. And I've got the Osmo, so let's record it on this. <gasps> wonderland oh I'm so happy that we're finally out in nature you know like the last time we were in nature was in Asia and although it's absolutely beautiful it's a completely different experience and being here surrounded by snow the fresh mountain air and so far today has only cost us about six pounds with parking entry and breakfast <laughs> it is crazy what you can do for so cheap guys and don't forget, of course, we've made ourselves a little pack lunch, more of a snack lunch. We've got like a little cheese sandwich for the road, like the old biddies we are. We packed ourselves a picnic, and that's right, these are sandwiches wrapped in toilet paper <laughs> because we didn't have any napkins or bags. And if you want to earn less and live more, guys, you need to wrap your food in toilet paper. <laughs> We feel a little bit like old people because back in England, my grandparents, when they were still alive, would pack food for any situation. And that is where we are right now. Okay, it is too cold to be standing around because I don't know about you, but my feet are freezing. Wasting our time talking to you guys. Leave us alone. We're trying to eat food. <laughs> I am loving the moodiness of this mist. It is 
beautiful. We are sold on coming back in spring because I would love to see the contrast between the snow and the sunny, beautiful springtime. So it's not really that busy. We've only seen a few people at the moment. And this is a bit of a skiing town in the winter. And in the summer, it's a hiking town. But right now here in November, it's a nothing town. It's in between, so it's actually quite a quiet time to come visit. I think this has got to be one of the best looking vlogs that we've ever done. I'm loving it. I can't stop looking at the camera. Look how misty it is in the background. It's beautiful. Oh my child, I know You hurt and you can't let go It's not your fault and you don't Desert. All the bad in the hurt Ooh, I know you tried so hard I was pretty apprehensive about coming back to Europe for winter because everyone I told her, oh why are you coming back for winter? The summer's been so hot, it's been so nice but it's really lovely to have the contrast. Asia was beautiful, hot, humid, and here it's winter wonderland. And it's great because we're going home for Christmas and it's definitely getting me in the Christmas spirit. Um, you haven't seen what's, you haven't seen what's going on with the, uh, with the snowman. Oh, he's a horny little snowman. Now that is way disproportionate to the size of his body. That's not even believable, whoever made this. <laughs> Men watching at home, I hope you now feel a lot better about your size. So there is a cafe here, but unfortunately it's closed. So we would love a hot drink right now, but unfortunately we have to go thirsty. We didn't bring water. Yeah, we did. We brought water. Yes. <laughs> Look how nice that looks, guys. Are you looking? The worst thing with filming these kind of shots, where it, like it looks all nice, and I'm like, Emma, just go have a little walk. We'll catch you on the camera. It's then I have to catch her up, and I get lonely on my own, guys. So I'm talking to you instead. Now, walking along here is getting pretty slippy, because there's a lot of rocks. But I hear, and by here I mean I searched on the internet, that at the end of this valley is a waterfall. So, I've seen a lot of great waterfalls in Asia, but a nice cold one would be good for a change, wouldn't it, guys? Guys, we have caught our first glimpse of the waterfall! Where? It's right there. <laughs> I'm not sure if they can it's see. Actually, it's not that strong looking of a waterfall, but let's go check it out. It looks awesome from here. I don't know if you guys can see how awesome it looks, but from here, I'm loving this look. I'm so happy right now. It is really nice and actually, I don't know if you can see on here, we'll have to put the drone up, but there's actually like a sheet of ice that's obviously like a bit of frozen waterfall at the top as well. It's very pretty. I've never seen a waterfall surrounded by snow before. It's actually quite surreal to see it surrounded by snow. I've only ever seen waterfalls in warm places. This is amazing. <laughs> Down here you have to walk up a bunch of steep steps. They're a little bit slippery guys. With the snow, very, very slippery. They're made out of rocks. <laughs> Take your time if you come here. We don't want you to have a fall. <laughs> Look at that view. Front row seat, guys. <laughs> I'm sure you're warmer and toastier than us right now. <laughs> we're a little bit chilly, but I think now we're going to head back and go get some hot food, hot drinks, warm ourselves up a little bit. And then, to make a profit for today, we actually have to do a little bit of teaching in this evening for a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. We've also got a bunch of editing to do. So we will see you guys back somewhere warmer. We are certainly very warm and very cosy right now. I've just had a glue wine, which is a mulled wine, which is delicious. Hot wine in my tummy, so I'm nice and warm already. But look at this feast. I've got two massive potato pancakes here with mushroom and cream sauce on top. And Al's gone for a bit of onions and snotages on his. This is my first attempt at a Polish sausage. Look how good this looks, guys. <laughs> Loving these potato pancakes. They are so good. They're like giant hash browns that you can have any time of the day. Yeah, I'm cutting it open. Yeah, I am. Mm. 
so good. So we have just got back to our room and I'm pooped. I'm full and pooped right now. What Scoop it up. <laughs> Scoop us up, guys. <laughs> we are pooper scooped. We just, I don't know what that means, but we're tired. We're really tired. We are going to teach for just a couple of hours so we can end the day knowing that we're in a profit because it's always a nice feeling. I always feel quite accomplished. Uh, today was awesome. One really of my good. favorite days in a very, 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 very long time. Oh, wow. <laughs> So many berries, probably too many. <laughs> too, too, too many, many. berries. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Give it a thumb and a like at the same time. And please leave us a comment. Let us know if you like the video. And let us know if there's any other good nature spots in Poland that we haven't seen yet. And finally, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, press the little notification bell. It's awesome. <laughs> and that's it for today. So, beans out!